for ESA's Earth Observation Programme's the 1st of March 2022 is a special day, as it marks the 20th anniversary of the launch of one of the most important European Earth Observation satellites ever, Envisat. Envisat is the father of all the missions we have. It had such an important legacy in Earth Observation, and we still have it today as a reference model. Envisat was developed during the 90s as a research mission and succeeded ESA's ERS missions. It was built to monitor the health of our planet, using a range of different instruments. In the spirit of the day, ESA chose to develop one large and versatile satellite with many different capabilities, instead of a series of smaller, specialised craft. And it showed. Envisat, which was approximately the size of a bus and weighed over eight tonnes, is to this day the biggest Earth observation satellite ever launched. Envisat was by far and still by far the biggest Earth observation satellite that we ever launched. So at that time we needed basically the biggest launcher and it was already Ion 5. Envisat carried 10 different innovative instruments to provide measurements of our atmosphere, land, oceans and ice. These instruments included a radar, an altimeter and several optical and infrared instruments. Whether they were totally novel or improved versions of earlier instruments, all were at the cutting edge of technology, revealing new insights to our home planet and how it is changing. You see, we have seen so much with Amisa that I barely remember. But already in the commissioning phase, for example, using the SAR imaging instrument, which can see through clouds or during the night, we saw the extraordinary event. We, we saw the, the breakup of an ice shelf in Antarctica. Uh, his name was Larsen C. And that was extraordinary to be able to see that, which was difficult to see before with other instruments, particular optical, because it's often cloudy there or night. But we could, we could see that. I think it was the, the second month of the commission phase and, and show that to the world. While Envisat was planned to be in orbit for just five years, the satellite proved to be extremely robust and it surpassed its expected lifetime by a further five years. Doubling its intended life, the mission ended in April 2012, but its data continue to be used today for research into how our world has changed. Envisat has left an incredible legacy, not only thanks to its science data, but also thanks to its technological heritage. The Sentinels today are very much operational missions with data flows feeding the users on a continuous basis for a really long period of time. But they're based on the experience, the expertise and the technology innovation that was actually on board of Envisat. And this is very important for all of us because the legacy of such an important mission is today in everything we do in terms of Earth observation. Today, even some of the Sentinel missions, which are key to the EU's Copernicus program, carry instruments that are based on those that flew on Envisat. Besides Envisat's technological heritage, the mission left another very important legacy by way of wealth of data it accumulated over its 10-year life. The satellite circled Earth over 50,000 times, delivering vast quantities of data and images. This treasure trove of data is still being used by a growing science community, a community that the Envisat mission helped to create. Today, Envisat still yields new science, helping us to understand long-term changes and the effects of climate change. Importantly, Envisat paved the way for Earth observation missions and data to be used operationally, improving daily life by, for example, detecting oil spills. What is very important is that ESA continues to work on innovation, on technology, on advanced mission in terms of testing new technologies in Earth observation. This is really in the remit of what we do. And also to improve the way to promote infrastructures, uh, including the IT, the digital technologies that can help you use the big volumes of data that we have available and make those accessible to the users. That's also part of what we want to do with the Green Future Accelerator, with the digital twin of the Earth, where we will integrate big volumes of data into high computing capabilities and make those available to support not just a monitoring of the state of the art of our planet, but also prediction modeling on climate change and on natural disasters. 
Observing Earth from space is now more important than ever. And ESA shows its ambitions to further upgrade space-enabled capabilities for a green future and for rapid and resilient crisis response. ESA continues to monitor our planet, building satellites to deliver scientific and operational data for the benefit of society. Envisat was a precursor to ESA's world-class position as a provider of Earth observation data. Leaving behind an impressive legacy and time series of data that will still benefit generations to come. <laughs>